Hello. My brothers and sisters, let's get these messages out. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on with the energy here. Let's see, what do we have here? What's going on? Okay, we got LBGTQ love. That's what's going on. We got support and empathize. And we have let's build. Okay. And we also have headaches. Well, that came out really second. Okay, so we have LBGTQ, love, headaches, support and empathize, and let's build. Okay? Let's get another row here. So I'm seeing um, somebody could, you know, like the opposite sex here. Um, and that's who they love. Uh, it could be um, a struggle within um, to the point where you <laughs> it gives you a headache because you're not being yourself. Um, or this could be somebody that you know, okay? And they're calling for you to support that person and empathize with that person, okay? Um... They want you to, to support them and uh, empathize with them, okay? Whether they like females, uh, trans, uh, males, whether they're even bisexual, okay? Um, this information about them, it gives them a headache, okay? They really want you to support them and empathize with, you know, what they feel and what they love, okay? Uh, but they want to build with you, okay? So somebody wants you to accept them for who they are. We got stand up for yourself. Okay. So you may encourage this person to stand up for their self and stand up for what they believe. It says the energy radiating off of you is powerful, okay? So you could be very powerful, okay? And the energy that's radiating off of you is very, very powerful, okay? You can uh, sympathize and empathize with this person and let them know that they need to follow their heart, okay? Or you need to follow your heart, okay? If you support this person and what they love and what they like, follow your heart and stand up for yourself and for your love here, okay? That's aligning right with that here. Also, we have here, um, look at you, healing. I know this is a new feeling. Just remember, uh, just remember when you're going through, you have the tools now for you to recover, okay? So before you may have not known what to do to heal, but now you have to, you, now you have the tools to um be able to you know recover which is beautiful so now when you going through you already know what to do how bomb is that okay let's get some more please yeah you're enlightened you're enlightened okay and somebody may want to uh, enlighten you um about something here okay Let's see here. We have average, low rank, okay? So somebody could uh, feel average or feel if they're like they're in, um, like they're of low rank here. Maybe because of the energy that you radiate here. But that's why it says support, empathize, you know, uh, try to encourage them and enlighten them. You can enlighten them on where they're at. Because even if someone is low rank, you can always, you know, you can move up, okay? 
and you can encourage this person to stand up for themselves so that they can move up so they don't feel low um two as well can we get one more please Can we get one more, please? Thank you. Okay. We have um, short here. Okay. Um, so something could have been short-lived here. Um, Something could have been short-lived here. Somebody can be short. Um, put I think I'm gonna put some love messages on the top of this here and somebody really got a headache because <laughs> I can feel it a little bit uh, this really frustrates somebody You're so frustrated about this. You're so frustrated about this. You're so frustrated about being accepted. And whether somebody accepts you for who you is, to the point where it even gives you a headache. And I'm, what I'm going to tell you is, whoever don't accept you for who you is, and who you love, and what you like, Fuck them. You're letting it. My nose itching too. You're you, you letting it overtake you. You letting this overtake you. It it it, it could even make you angry. It has you very tense, too. My eyebrows off, it was like I'm mad now. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't let this stress you out like this. If somebody don't accept you, Baby, they ain't for you. The only support you need is a Yahweh. And there's somebody that will accept this here. Accept you for who, who you are. But first, you got to accept you for who you are. This really pains you. You even, you even sometimes feel disgusted with yourself. But that's just because you have no understanding of it. Because you go off of what society say, what society may think, what society feels. Ooh. But it's something that you need to release because all of this tension, all of this anger, the pain, the headaches, the silent suffering, it's disgusting you. Turn that down. Thank you. 
It's disgusting you. I don't know who I'm channeling right now, but Ten Ten was just on the um, timer too. It's time for a. It's time for something new. It's time for you to follow your heart and be who you are. Or you gonna self destruct yourself because you're not being who you are. You're not living in your truth. Again, only support you need is from the Most High Yahweh. Second, support yourself. Follow your heart. Stand up for yourself. All the rest of the stuff that's for you will fall in line. And who's ever not for you does not belong in your space. Brother or sister, I'm going to say this again. Fuck them. It's time for you to release this here. Shake that up off me. What is that? <laughs> oh, what is that? <clears throat> okay. I feel tired. Mm. Can we get some uh, romance? Can we get some? Yeah, it's time for you to embrace you. And whomever you're thinking about here, they may embrace you too. They may warmly embrace you for who you are. It says here, let your let yourself enjoy your partner's loving arms around your body. Their touch and, and ignites a flame within you. So this person can, this person will probably encourage you. Just like what I was saying before, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, family and friends. You don't know who will support you and empathize with you. Be you. Be free. But you just feel like this because you have no understanding of it. You going off of your own understanding and what society tell you. And it is paining you. Oh, man. You paining me. <laughs> oh, man. There will be people that will support you, okay? There will be people that will support your connection, okay? Let's get one more. Oh, we got watch out. Bottom of the deck, new chapter. Okay? 10 10. If you need something to listen, what, listen. A fresh start is good for everyone. New doors are open for you by you being in your truth and living in your truth. But it do say watch out though. Because there is a uh, watch out. This is a warning message. Beware of gossip, envy, and jealousy. Because there will be a. Uh, people envious of y'all connection here okay people could be trying to stand in the way of you having this connection with someone too as well here oh y'all i'm sorry but <laughs> yo energy throwing me off Okay, let's see.
Mm. Yeah, you worried about what the community gonna say. You worried about what people think. Fuck the community. <laughs> okay. You could be a main male. Okay, we got main male journey. This is your journey, your life. We got toil and labor. Here. Listen, you work hard in life. You are of high honor, bottom of the deck. This is your journey. And you trying to let the community dictate? No, you only got one life to be you. Okay? Yeah, we, we don't die. We use energy. Spirit. But you only have this one life as who you are. And you mean to tell me? You not going to live and be who you are during this one life because of the community and, and, and friends and family and or lovers that won't accept you? Them ain't your people. And you can live in un unhappiness if you want to for people that ain't your people, but you're robbing yourself. You robbing yourself of your happiness. Um, you could have initials, you could have initials C, M, F, B, A, W, E, R, K, Yeah, this is a message of concern. You, 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 you super concerned of this? <laughs> you so concerned about what everybody else, what everybody else would think about you. What everybody else would think about you and what they expect of you. It ain't about what everybody else expects of you. It's about what you expect of you. What Yahweh expects of you. Living for other people ain't no good. You will always be unhappy. You will always be frustrated. You'll always have that damn headache. That you didn't so graciously let me feel for a split second. <laughs> Okay, and know that also, whatever you're working on here, uh, know that it will bring something well for you. Or you, by you working on standing up for yourself, living in your truth, by you working on this, it will bring you sudden wealth, whatever that means to you. It doesn't have to be money. But you are of high honor. God dang it. You high honor. Around here feeling average and low rank. I don't think so. Just because of what other people might think. Hell to the no. <laughs> mm -mm. We got to change that, baby. We got to change that. Let's get some music here. Okay, you can hear these songs out. Uh, it could be something within the song title that may resonate with you. Um, it may be something, in, in, or it could be something in the lyrics. So listen to the song because it can give you an extra message on your situation, okay? Alright, that's enough here. So we got here, Wale, Dearly Beloved. We got Camus. Jambo or comma you Jambo We got Big Crit featuring Rico Love pay attention We got Beyonce featuring Missy Elliott signs We got Kalani water and we got SWV week okay 
so there might be something okay um there might be something in those songs that can give you an extra message or you might hear them out okay they may give you you know extra confirmation on this message received here okay so Let's get some grateful heart messages. And it is just, man, my head is going. You really be concerned about what other people are going to think. Stop. You be thinking about every single scenario. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop doing that to yourself. You torturing yourself. You is torturing yourself. Sis or bro. Stop. Yahweh blesses his people with peace. Yes. Go to the most high. That's the only support and acceptance that you need. So that you can have peace in your decisions. Not by what the community talking about. The community be wrong as hell all the time. We got Yahweh is gracious and full of compassion. He will empathize with you and give you that compassion that you need as well. We got here the steadfast love of Yahweh is from everlasting to everlasting. On those who fear him. Yahweh is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in love. So what I'm getting here is you can also think that because this is so on how the community and how them church folks think or whatever the case may be that you can't come to Yahweh or you ain't going to be accepted in it, you know, uh, with, it, with him. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. That's far from the truth. Go to him as you are. Get that support. Get that so that you can have that confidence to be who you are and be enlightened. Pray. He ain't, he ain't mad at you for that. You just ain't got no understanding of it here. And I just read something, too, about um, about homosexuality for real. And it had me cracking up because <laughs> people don't even understand why they don't like people of the LBGTQ community here. They don't even know what that represents. They have no understanding of it. The only thing that comes out of that is that you can't, nothing comes out of it as far as you can't reproduce and be fruitful. There's other ways, you know, science, technology, and all of that for them to do it. But as far as, you, you, you know what I mean. Can't nothing come out of it. So, but what tripped me out here, though, y'all, <laughs> is that the reason why people be so upset, and it makes sense about homosexual and homosexuality is because it's something being mirrored back to them. Whether they're actually homosexual or not. Also, it represents how they worship and seek all these other deities and stuff and not the one true spirit. Not the one true spirit and the one true understanding. Not Yahweh. That's what it represents. Homosexuality is pointing something out. And people don't even know that deep down, that's why they really be irritated and be mad, but they don't know it, though. So it's better to gain an understanding so that you don't self-destruct and be doing these things to yourself because you don't understand. Them people homosexuals too because they're worshiping all types of different deities instead of the one who made them. They're satisfying their own flesh and their own agenda. 
that's what that really points out and represents. So don't think Yahweh is mad at you. Go to him and pray to him so that you can see and maybe you will be able to see and understand so that you can accept yourself. It's time to get this up off you so you can feel light because you heavy. <laughs> you real heavy. <clears throat> you real heavy. Bottom of the deck. The heavens declare the glory of Yahweh. You go before me and follow me. You place you place your hand of blessings on my head. Okay? We have here, Yahweh crowns you with love and mercy. A paradise crown. He wraps you in goodness, beauty eternal. The blessing of Yahweh be upon you. So, you blessed. Okay, you is of high honor. Like I said, you is of high honor. Worrying about with low rank people. <laughs> well, think. No. No. I'm sorry. Absolutely not. <laughs> but, um, I ain't gonna add, I ain't gonna add nothing else on this message. Um, I love you. 2626, go look that up. Uh, you can look up angel number 2626. And or when you see, you know, double numbers and certain numbers repeat themselves, you can even match them up with Bible verses and it could be a message in there for you. Okay? Again, thank you all for listening. I hope you all got something that will help you along your journey. Um, know that I love you. Y'all loves you. And I'll see you all later. Peace.